Hello, hello, hello! Good morning, everyone! Mega love shout out to all the subscribers and followers of this channel. And if you are new to my channel, please. <laughs> One subscribe to like share. Don't forget to ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Three like. Leave a comment, subscribe. Four, subscribe. <clears throat> All right. Our lesson for today is a sol solving problem involving sets. Part 1. Okay? Let us try to solve the following problem. Okay. In a group of 120 students, 68 had e ridden a bus, 78 had ridden the LRT, 33 had ridden a chip, while 40 had ridden both the bus and the LRT, 20 had ridden the bus and the jeep, 19 had ridden the LRT and the jeep, and 15 had ridden the bus, the LRT, and the jeep. Okay. Now, questions A. How many had ridden the bus only? B. How many had ridden the LRT only? And see how many had ridden jeep only. D. How many did not ride on any of the three modes of transportation? So we have what is a Venn diagram? A Venn diagram is a principal way of showing sets diagrammatically. This method consists primarily of entering the elements of a set into a circle or circles. It can be used to solve word problems involving union and intersection of sets. We have steps in problem solving using Venn diagram. One, step 1. Determine what is given and what are being asked. Number two, il illustrate using Venn diagram. Three, determine what operations to be used. Four, use the operations. And step five, answer the questions being asked. All right, so let's have example number one. Let A and B be two finite numbers. Or finite sets such that cardinality of set A is 20, the cardinality of set B is 28, and the cardinality of A union B is 36. So find the cardinality of A intersect B. So for our solution, step one, determine what is given and what are asked or being asked. Of course, so the given, we have the cardinality of A is 20, okay? And then the cardinality of B is 28, and the cardinality of A union B is 36. What we're looking for is the cardinality of A intersect B. So step two, illustrate using Venn diagram if possible. All right, so let's see the Venn diagram. Okay, so here, now this is the Venn diagram that we must do. So we have the A here, okay, and the B, and we are looking for the A intersect B. 
Now, what is our solution? So, step 3, determine what operations to be used. Okay, using the formula, the cardinality of A union B is equals to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A intersect B. So, then, for the cardinality of A intersect B is equals to the cardinality of A plus the cardinality of B minus the cardinality of A union B. So, we have 20 is the, cardin the cardinality of A plus 28 which is the cardinality of B minus 36. And then we add 20 plus 28 is equal to 48 minus 36. Therefore, the cardinality of A intersect B is equal to 12. Alright? Next, let's have a second example. Oh, step 4. So, use the operation. So, this, this is now the, uh, your answer. No? So, this is now your cardinality of A or what you call this one, the cardinality of A un intersect B. Alright? Next, so let's answer the questions as are being asked. So, therefore, the cardinality of A intersect B is equals to 12. Alright? Then, example number 2, we have... In a junior high school, what 200 students were randomly selected? 140 liked tea, 120 liked coffee, and 80 liked both tea and coffee. So, question letter A, how many students liked only tea? And B, how many students liked only coffee? And C, how many students liked neither tea or coffee. So, for our solution, so we have step one, there mean what is given and what are being asked. Alright, so 200 junior high school students who were randomly selected, of course, and then we have 140 students who like tea, 100 students or 120 students who liked coffee, and 80 students who liked both tea and coffee. And then, of course, what we asked here is how many students like only tea, how many students liked only coffee, and how many students like neither tea nor coffee. Okay, step number two, illustrate using the Venn diagram. So, let T, set of students who like only tea, C, the set of students who like only coffee, and X, set of students who like neither T nor X. Okay, so it's showing the Venn diagram below. So, we have here, so the students who like T only here, and the students who like coffee only is here. And we know that 80 of them both like and coffee. So, our question is, how many students neither like tea nor coffee? Okay. Next. Step number three, determine what operations to be used. So, to obtain the tea or the, the set of students who like tea, we have 140 minus 80 students who like tea minus students who like both tea and coffee. So, we have 60. So, 60 is a set of students who like tea only. And to obtain C or the set of students who like coffee, so C is equals to 120 minus 80 students who like coffee must minus the students who like both tea and coffee. So we have 40. So 120 minus 80 is 40. So there are 40 students who like coffee only. So to obtain the X, 
right? So we have x is equals to 200. 200 is the total number of students minus the, num the set of numbers or plus the set of numbers of se uh, set of students who like tea plus the set of students who like coffee plus the 80 who, who like both tea and coffee. So that is the total number of students. It's randomly, okay? So that is how we do it. And then we have 200 minus open parenthesis so combine this 60 plus 40 plus 80 by substitution so we have 200 minus 180 so that's by simplifying therefore the answer is 20 so there are only 20 set of students who like neither tea nor coffee i get it so let's follow the procedure and then, for step number four, use the operations. So of course, the number of elements in each region is shown at the right here. Okay. And, okay, so we have, this is 4T, this is 4C. No? These are both. Now, if you are going to total this, you, you obtain the 200, no? With this that the universals are, or the uh, cardinality of the universal set here is 200, no? Okay, yeah. So, through analysis, you can really get it. So, let's, the how many students like only tea? So, there are 60, check. How many students like only coffee? So, there's are 40, so this is T and C. And how many students like neither tea nor coffee? Of course, there are 20. All right, so because we just subtract. Mm -hmm. So if we're from 200, we subtract this 180, so the answer is 20. Get it? All right, for questions and clarifications, just write it at the comment section. So we will discuss part two of some examples with in it. And please get up. So remember, gratitude is the best attitude. And before I go. Remember to like. Subscribe. Share. Ring the bell buttons for the next notification. Leave a comment, like, and leave a comment, and share. Make a love shout out to all the, all the teams Team Organic Barcatara, Team YTC International, Team Solid Family, and to all my YT friends and followers, especially to my students. Love you all. Bye-bye.